Hello everybody. In this video we are going to be generating a sunpath diagram using Ladybug and we will begin by opening Rhino and Grasshopper and the Grasshopper definition Ladybug sunpath. When you open this definition you should see a sunpath diagram being generated. This sunpath diagram is using EPW information from Portland, Oregon and you can change that URL. Simply change the URL in the panel as you have seen before. The sun path diagram is being generated according to an analysis period that is set to the entire year. We can disconnect the analysis period component from the sun path component to instead display the sun position at a specific time during the year. We can hook up a slider to the sun path component and sweep through different months, days, and times. I'm going to reconnect the analysis period component to the sun path component and again display all sun positions throughout the year. And now I will also connect information regarding dry bulb temperature into annual hourly data input of the sun path component. What this will do is generate those suns and color them according to the data from the dry bulb temperature output of the import EPW component. I can use this data to filter the sun positions throughout the year according to a conditional statement. I will enter into a panel the condition A is greater than 80 and when I connect it to the conditional statement input of the sun path component, it will filter the positions that meet that condition. In this sun path diagram, we now only see the times of the year in which the temperature is over 80 degrees. I can go on to add a second conditional statement that I would like to filter the sun positions. I will filter the sun positions by showing only temperatures that are either greater than 80 or less than 50. And again, if that conditional statement is true, that sun position will be displayed in the Rhino viewport and colored according to its specific temperature. Additionally, I can connect a second stream of annual data. I will connect relative humidity and then in the panel I can also filter this data. I will delete the first conditional statement we used, insert the word and, and then type B is greater than 70. Because the relative humidity annual data was the second data stream we connected to the sun path component, its designation is automatically set to B. If we were to connect a third annual data stream, its designation would be C, and it would go on similarly ad infinitum. Throughout the year, the sun can be beneficial as well as a detriment, and this is a good way to filter through the data and isolate the sun's position to possibly geometrically inform our designs.